I have pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed your path below ground. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last time we defeated the Gleok, we took on the, uh, what's it called? Coliseum. What is that? I thought I saw a shining up there. Oh, that's just that Korok. But yeah, and then we... Did I already say we took on the Gleok? But yeah, we uh, also found this uh, memory, Tear of the Kingdom, whatever they are. Little drops of liquid. But I did go and look up, because we were looking for Zelda's horse. And I did look up a guide, and it says it's over in this area, like pretty much where we put the skull down. So yeah, we're going to head over that way and see if we can collect that horse. Which way was that? It is the way we're going. Okay. Um. Oh, that's the great fairy up there. I'm like, what's all this shiny stuff? I do still want to see... I think I cut it out, but I sort of tried to ride a moose in the last part. Is that anything we can pick? No. Just a rock to pick up. So I'm going to real quick try and ride a moose again. He's... Like eyeballing me though. Maybe we should probably um, dismiss our dudes. I don't imagine they help with sneakiness very much. I don't know if the moose can perceive them or not, but I imagine he probably can. Riding a moose would just be fun. Nope. Alright, I didn't think so, but I wanted to try. Ah, there's some horses. It's not a gold horse by any means. Oh, there's a gold horse right there. Alright, we found her. So, be really sneaky. Don't you guys spook her. Yeah, keep running that way. Let me get the horse. Oh no. The wolf's gonna come and bother me. It's been so long since I tamed a horse. Hey, hey, hey. That's not very nice. Oh, it is the wolf. You dirtbag. Couldn't see that we're trying to tame a horse over here, could you? You just don't care. Alright, second attempt. Kinda wonder if we even need to be sneaky since it's Zelda's horse. Yeah, it looks like we do. It doesn't seem to be as annoyed as other horses. But you never know. Alright. We ran out of stamina, didn't we? Uh, that's not enough. Ah, total waste. So it is just like every other horse. All right, well, we just got to hit the stamina a little faster. I figure three would be enough, right? Apparently, you need more than three. Alright. Um, yeah, that one. That should be enough, right? No? Dang. Oh, 
Come on. Oh. Dang it. All right, there the horse is again. This is going to be my, like, fourth attempt. And me being, you know, the supreme moron of all time, like usual. I, <laughs> first I thought, oh, I must not have enough stamina to do it. And then, you know, it still wasn't working. I had, whoa, so much stamina. And it still wasn't working. So I even went and looked on a guide. And it all comes down to that, oh, I was pushing the wrong button the whole friggin' time. So, let's try this one more time, pushing the correct button, and see if that helps. Yeah, <laughs> it works so much better when you push the right button. How about that? I was pushing ZL instead of L. It's just been so long since I tamed a horse. There's an ice guy over here. What are you doing over here? Yeah. No, oh, you guys are way gone. Oh, he actually spins around backwards on the horse? Yeah. I didn't know he spun around backwards when you actually look backwards, yeah. but I guess in order to shoot a bow totally backwards on a horse, you would have to spin around backwards, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yes, we have the horse now. Yeah, its stamina isn't even as good as yeah. um, our other horse. But I imagine it's got to be better in other ways. Yeah. It's supposed to be one of the best horses in the game. get it registered. Do we have to register it first for the quest, or do we register it after? Um, let's register it first. I think my horse, it's, isn't that the golden horse that ran away from our stable? I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for going to the trouble of bringing it back here. But Harlow was the one looking after that horse, so would you mind bringing it to her? She should be around back. Uh. She's been so worried ever since the poor thing ran away. Please go and put her mind at ease. Oh. Um, okay. Mm. I guess we cannot register it first. Uh. Do we need to actually ride you over there? Whoa. Uh. Um, there we go. Uh. Sai, how could that have happened? It's so troubling. Hmm. Let's review the facts. The horse at the heart. Okay. Oh, I just brought it. Yet the animal was bolted. Uh. Horse trusted Princess Zelda like no one else. Uh, was it the princess? Mm -hmm. Well, if I had to be certain, honestly, I'm not totally sure. The snow was coming down hard. Okay. Yeah, I guess <sighs> goodbye. So what? Oh. oh. You might know this, but to catch a wild horse, you have to mount it. Energizing ah. this. Okay. So, yep. did we do it? I blazed through that way too quickly, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, what if we. Yeah, carefully. Okay, ah. now talk. Yeah. Ah. No, don't go backwards. It said talk. Ah. Okay, it's right here. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, look, who's finally back home? No doubt about it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. Oh. I've been worried sick, but now you found it. Eh? Oh, when did you... Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feathered my reputation. You make me proud. But, huh, is it just me, or has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. <laughs> and in our, your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> if that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. <laughs> Wait, I want you to have this, too. Ooh, a royal bridle. Aye. Also, please take this, and a royal saddle. Ah. These are bridle and saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Little one? It's a big ah. old horse. 
You might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good as a, of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. Mm. We've worked together for uh, to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Ah. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Okay. Oh, oh whoops. I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. 20 rupees is a bonus. <laughs> All right. I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. Bye -bye. So long. Alright. We got the golden horse. There's something wrong with that dog. Not that one right there. This other one over here. Oh. You like me too now. Yeah, isn't that dog following me? What's up with that dog? No? Okay. It seemed like the little pink whatever that oh. means they like you was going with the dog. Yep, you're well acquainted. Yes, we want to register it. Uh. The horse will be in good hands. So yeah, it's strength and speed are really good. Stamina and pull are not the best. Yes. Oh. Fee to register, yeah, we got 20 oh. rupees. We just got it for doing uh. that, that job. We get a pony point, too. Mm, okay. I'm gonna, should name it. What are we going to name it? Um, be nice and unique. Boldy. Yep. Oh. Name registered. Do you want to take it with you or board it? Um, we'll board it for now. Oh. Your horse is safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. Oh. Come back again anytime. We shall. Okay, then. What should we do? We should go see Tracy again, I think. Over at the... Yeah, over here. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh, man. We don't have anything closer than that. We probably should have gotten... I'm pretty sure that's a shrine there. So, yeah. We really need to go and get some shrine stuff going on over here. That's a shrine also, I believe. So let's head... Oh. Well, it's like right in between both those Skyview Towers. This one's a little closer, though. So let's head there. Because we should have a piece or two of the frog armor coming to us. Oh, we're not wearing the right stuff. I don't know which way we're going. I think we're going southish. Yeah. Oh wait, we can't wear it actually, because it's not cold resistance. Well, we can wear one piece at least. Probably wear that one. But yeah, then we're cold, so put on this one, because we don't need unfreezable right now. Oh, that's what else. We need to see where we're going. We are going, yeah, southeast. So, this way. Right, red one? No, orange. Orange is that way. Oh, we need to have our buddy out. That'll help. Get all of our buddies back out. Yeah, it turns out in one of my attempts, I found out that they do not actually... Yeah, they do not um, do anything as far as spooking the horses. So you're pretty safe. Just using them most of the time. And is that... That is the one we marked. Okay, so the Lucky Clover Gazette is before that, I believe. Alright, is it going to show up on our map? Okay, it's right past the lake over here. Yeah, the Lucky Clover is like right there. But while we've got the height, we may as well get to the shrine. Who's that person glowing over there? find out in a minute. This 
one is a launching device. We know about launching devices. Yes. And what are we launching? Just a rocket. And... I'd imagine so. So what? We just... Place that. And wait. Easy enough. Ah, we got a reverse roller coaster over here. And track to nowhere. Just for extra stuff. Oh, we actually have to use this one? Oh, they respawn. I see. Well then. should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yep. One was enough. Now, we're heading that way. Um. We have to ride the cart. They don't really give us anything else to use, so I assume so. Oh. Um, I don't think we like that very much. So let's redo this over here. We want you on there straight, I think. Seems a much better idea to me, anyway. Hmm. It should work. Whoa. Ah. Ow. Yeah, I'm not the best at getting off of the Zonai devices, that's for sure. Well, I didn't see any treasure chest. Oh, it's up there. I don't care. I'm not going back for it. I don't know if I could go back for it, to be quite honest. They're never anything that great. Also, still that uh, the quest over here to get that shrine in a cave somewhere. Okay, the lucky clover is right there. Yeah, don't you have some armor for us? Ah, hello, Link. Hard at work so early in the morning, I see. Now that the blizzard has finally stopped, my sisters and I can get back to work. Doma headed off to the north northeast toward Goron City, I think. She's looking into a rumor about some kind of underground city there. She's a little too quick to trust people, in my opinion. I hope she's not chasing a lead that goes nowhere. Ah. By the way, how are you and Pen getting are Pen doing? Everything going okay? Did you lose track of your partner? Oh. Let's see, right now he should be canvassing at Dueling Peak Stable over in West Nakluda in southeastern Hyrule. Ah. The Yiga clan recently sent the paper a statement concerning Princess Zelda, you see. Ah. It definitely shook me at first, but then I reminded myself that it could just be a bunch of hot air. Regardless, I asked Penn to figure out if it was true or not. Ah. Readers all over Hyrule have their eyes and ears peeled for any information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. The Lucky Clover Gazette is equally eager and is happy to help however it can. Okay, so can I get some of this stuff yet? So that said, a froggy armor caught your eye. <laughs> With that, you'll cling to wet surfaces without slipping. Great if you need to stay on the lookout from une unexpected places. Work with Pen to get to the bottom of rumors about Princess Zelda. I'll give you the fro I'll give you froggy armor piece by piece. Ma! I'm counting on you to visit all of the stables in Hyrule. Think of those stables as soup soup pots full of all kinds of tasty leads. Get out there and spoon up that news. So we haven't done enough yet. We've done three. I guess three's not enough. I guess we probably got to do four. They seem to like the number four. All right, then. Um, yeah, let's go get this other shrine we have marked, and that'll get us back all of our markers. And it will also be our fourth uh, light. But then we can go get another piece of heart. Which color are we looking for? We can't do the thing. Oh, it's right there. 
least I'm assuming it's that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be that one. Oh, we never checked on that glowy person over at the last shrine. Dang it. Alright. Is that a Korok? That looks like a Korok tent right there. So you must have a buddy somewhere around. Aid from above. Um, I don't see anything above that's going to help us. And what does this do? Does it just hurt us or does it open the floor? Yep, it opens the floor. Okay, so we just jump over it. That was easy. Yeah, the first time I saw these lasers, I could have sworn they would hurt. But they do not hurt. They just oh, do that. Okay, so let's not do that again. I guess I'll probably just stay crouching would be the best idea. And then I think we probably have to go up this way. Eh. Eh. Ah! Oh, I was jumping. I swear, the controls for Link are not all that, you know, great. Or maybe it's just the controller I have. It's, I mean, it is a, a licensed Nintendo controller, but it's a wired one. So I went cheap. So that's probably all it is, is it's a cheap controller. I can't believe how expensive the controllers are for the Switch. Hey, hey. Oh, 60 bucks or something for a good wireless controller. What's over there? Well, that looks like where we... Yeah, that's where we want to go eventually. So, what's over here? A chest of some kind? Yes. So, how do we get the chest? Oh. Yeah, not with that. Maybe with this? Nope. That's definitely not going to do it. So, um, help from above is what it's called. So is there some way? Oh, we get. Oh, I see. When the beam is blocked, the door opens. Spicy elixir. Okay. I don't know we have any slots left for food. Oh, we do actually. Yeah, we've got all that leftover stamina stuff. I didn't end up needing it. Ended up making a whole ton of it. Well, probably good to have anyway. Alright, this is suspicious. Oh, there it is. Like, where's the laser for this? Something definitely makes that fall. Oh. Oh, I tried to duck. So yeah, apparently you cannot crouch while running. That's good to know. Alright, where's the one for this one? Oh, holy crap. Oh, I see. And go. It's like, uh, what is it, the cube? Or the cell? What is it? The movie where it's got that thing, you know, the dude's all dodging the lasers, and then the mesh laser comes in and cuts them all into pieces. I think it's cube. Alright, and that is four. So now we can go get ourselves, what was it? There was something I was just thinking of. Oh yeah. Um, where is that one? We want, yeah, side quests, um, compendium. Yeah, the travel medallion. That's what I wanted to do. So yeah, let's go do that if we can. That would be really nice to have. 
Oh, and apparently we got right up there too. All right. Yeah. Oh, because the horse god's right up there. If I'm not mistaken, we have to go beat up a bunch of the Yiga guys. Oh no, I don't want to go in there. But yeah, just in case any of you aren't aware, you can go back in the shrines, like if there's any parts that you want. You can go into the shrine and fuse them to a shield or a weapon, and then pull them out of the shrine. You know, attached to one of your weapons or something. And then go get it, you know, broken apart at Terrytown. What are you doing walking up to these monsters, you dumb dude? Uh, it seems I've lost my way. Yeah, you're ha heading right into the monsters. Excuse me. I'd heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important I give it a wide berth. Do you know of the if the, do you know of the Yiga clan or is this nefarious branch of theirs, or this nefarious? Um, yep, I'm familiar. Ah. What luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still, I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right there and. Ah. Yep, I knew it. I'll take your head. No, I don't think so. Oh, man. Yeah, you're not taking anything, buddy. And there's just a moblin, like, walking over there. Like, no big deal. Oh, eightfold blade? Yeah, we are kind of down on weapons. I will take it, even though I don't really care much for the eightfold blade. I guess there is a better one. Or maybe it's got some ability. Um, like an ability to, what do you call it? Like, ow. But yeah, supposedly the eightfold blade will do like elemental damage somehow. At least that's what I saw. Knight shield. Ow. Hey. Those fairies are hard to get, buddy. I thought you were already dead. Okay, so yeah, shields. Yeah, we can definitely drop that one. And probably that one. Because knight shields are going to be better. Although they are... Um, oh, we're all full up on weapons. Um, is a knight's broadsword better? Or is the eightfold blade better? I guess let's check. That's six. Knight's broadsword is seven. So yeah, it's slightly better. Okay, since I'm here, did you guys have anything good? Not really. Although I have heard that, uh, yeah, fusing those to your shield is a good idea. Because you can use it as a springboard. Yeah, we'll probably just do these two. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, did somebody put out... Or is it raining? Fire got put out somehow. Um, let's get that one, I guess. That way nobody can step on us. I'm sure that's not how it works, but still. It would be funny if it did. Um, yeah, we know how to do this guy's stuff. I don't know how he gets everywhere with his dang signs. Well, that's not cool. I didn't see that. There. What about now? Ah. Yeah, yeah. Now let it go. Yep, should be good. Yep, he's standing. So, hurry up. Yep, do it. All right. One more sign. I wonder what you get if you put up all the signs. It's got to be something good, right? I don't know if you'd ever be able to do that, though. Ah! Whoa. 
Ah. Muddle Bud is your premium stuff? I guess it is from the depths. Probably pretty hard for most people to get there. Alright. Yiga Clan ahead. No, we probably want some more hearts. Oh no. Well, what else have we got? Yeah, we just used up like all of our stuff. <sighs> I totally forgot. But yeah, we need to go make some more of that extra heart food. Alright, I think we just go knock on the door. Sure. What is it? Wait, you? Sure. It's Link. Get ready for battle. A bunch of that stuff in the icy area. Oh, that's what I need. Apparently, my aim is still really crappy. There. Annoying. Yeah, this is the one. Eightfold long blade. He was shooting out stuff from that. So, what should we swap for it? Um, Traveler's Claymore. This one. Yeah, we've really got a lot of unique stuff, because that's the light scale trident, which we got for beating the Zora domain. And we got the boulder breaker for doing the Goron place. We do not have any of the Rito bow. I'm assuming you get a bow. That's what we should have looked into. Is what we get. Yeah, I guess. Probably that one. So that's not anything really special. But the eightfold long blade, eightfold long blade, I think, is somewhat special. All right then. Now we can open this. This is ridiculous. Oh, you're a tailor, dude. That's right. You give us the Yiga stuff, don't you? Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll make your little uniforms without any more complaints. I swear. Hold up. Hey. Hey, Superstar, you're not with the Yiga Clan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. That's, that's fantastic. Ugh, I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Konba. I've got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. Alas, that pure talent is why the Yiga Clan kidnapped me and forced me to make their outfits for them. If I ever sew one of those tacky rags again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it, toss it, do what you want. Just get it away from me. Alright, yeah. Yiga armor, but it's it's crappy, but then you can look like a Yiga dude. Uh, the look may lack, but my tailoring is sublime. If you wore the whole set, you'd fit right in with the Yiga clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here before they get back. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. See you around, and thanks for the save. Alright, so we got one piece of Yiga armor. We just need two more. Uh, I don't want a torch. Is there anything to read? Is that a Bacoblin? Oh, I don't know what that is. There is stuff to read. Read the Yiga Clan journal. Oh, I'm sure. We've now taken over the Shika lab and filled out the map with the locations of our hideout and branches. The lab is located near a local stable. It's also not far from Terrytown, which was impacted by falling Zonai ruins and parts. Suffice it to say, I think both of these locations will be suitable for procuring supplies and intel. 
Though we haven't yet received any word of Zelda, there have been many reported sightings of her swordsman Link. His days are numbered, though, as the surface division is setting up a network of their terrifying banana traps. I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself. Tempting though it may be, try not to pick up any bananas uh, up off the road. Pick any bananas up off the road. Dyslexia is not the most fun sometimes. Um, okay. So how do normal people get up there? I mean, I know how I'm going to get up there in just a second, but... Uh, yeah, that one's not the best for... Oh, man. Oh, no, we did keep this one. All right, good. Smash. And... Nope. Yeah. Or is this all we needed to do here? Here we go. Oh. Well then. Smash. Alright, did they leave anything else up here for us? No? Alright. Well, there's something else we need to do here, isn't there? It's not just smashing boxes, is it? Alright, we gotta read stuff. Uh, the travel medallion. The Pura Pad is a feature called, yeah, travel medallion. Prototype you need to activate this feature was left at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. It's rumored that the lab has been taken over by intruders. Okay, so we're looking for a prototype, which is not here. Uh, where is it? I guess it's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, is it in the chest? But I totally walked right by and didn't see. Yeah, travel medallion prototype. All right, now what? Yeah, give it to Robbie at the Parapad Research Lab. Okay. Is there anything else we want to do around here before we leave, though? Because I don't think... I mean, there's the stable and shrine nearby, so it's not like getting here is too much of a difficulty. But just in case, I would like to see if there's anything else we would like to do while we're here. Oh. There's another labyrinth. Yeah, the shrine it's talking about is probably the one in the labyrinth over there. Below. Oh, is it like right down here? Nearby, down below. Oh, who are you? What are you doing here? You there. Oh! I can tell you've trained your body well just looking at you. I'd say you're familiar with sword and bow alike, yes? I'd wager you could learn to manipulate the ground with the earthquake technique. Why not join the Yiga clan and do so? <laughs> the Yiga clan? Oh. That's right, we are Thiga clan. Oh. Wait, no. The Yiga clan. The Yiga clan, not Thiga clan. Oh, never mind. You clearly need an explanation. The Yiga clan Ooh. is a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a truly repugnant hero. <laughs> All things considered, I'd say our meeting here was fairly fortunate. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Link? Mm. Now die. More freaking Yiga. Yeah, I don't think that sword is the best one to be using. And... Yeah, let's use that. Where is he? Yep, no more disappearing for you. Yeah, regular eightfold blade. Alright, is it still yeah, it's still nearby and down. But, yeah, I don't know if going down there is a good idea. And now it's not saying it's nearby and down. Where is it? What 
was seeing it over here. Yeah, it's nearby. But where? Nearby and down from here. I still think it's over there. Yeah, but I want to do the other one we already found up in the north first. Alright, let's go talk to Robbie. And get him his travel medallion so we can do that stuff. How many medallions do we get, I wonder? I know there's a limit. But I hope it's more than one. Oh, is he not here? Oh, is he over at the other one? He's over at the other one, isn't he? Dang it. I should have been looking at the map better. Yeah, over here. Alright. Do we ever need the bright caps? I don't really like the glow ability. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Yeah, he should be right up here. At least I assume from the marks on the map. Oh, we could have just fast traveled right here. Dang it. Oh well. There you are. Hey you. We have more work to do. Your perp hat is nowhere near its full capability yet. So which feature do you want to add? Travel medallion. Of course you want the travel medallion feature. Who wouldn't want to travel instantly to wherever you want? I will need my travel medallion prototype, which is at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Sorry, but... Hmm? Huh? Wait, do I detect the unmistakable odor of my old home on you? Oh. What? Then you already have it. <laughs> Good job. That will do the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your perp pad. Oh. Now give me just a moment. This mysterious tool was built by Robbie. You place it by opening your inventory and registering your current location as a travel gate. Da, 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 da. I added that uh, to your key items so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. And at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? I wonder what I could do if I had even more data, however. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then it'd hit maximum capacity. So I can create a link between the pad and a second location, but for that I'd need about 10 map data locations, which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare uh, operation instructions for the feature too. Hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want, just read that poster there. Okay, I think we have 10 locations. So which feature do you want to... Yeah, more travel medallion, please. What? You've got the data. Hurry up and let me see that perv head. Now give me just a moment. Da -da -da -da. I added that extra one to your key items so you'll never lose the ability to use it. Given the maximum capacity, I could add the ability to create one more of those. I can create a link between the pad and a third location, but for that I need about 15 map data locations. That's a walk in the park. Yep, I know. I think we've already got it. Yep. Oh, my yep. Okay. Um, so just zoom around. Oh. Do we not have it? I guess not. Does it tell us where we're at? Once 15 regions have been mapped, a third travel medallion can be activated. The travel medallions are accessible from your key items. So, where does it tell us how many we've got? I'm not counting them all. That's not 25. I guess we gotta do the other two Skyview Towers we're missing. Alright. Well then... What else are we getting up to? I think we wanted to do the labyrinth, if I'm not mistaken. Or should we go talk to the horse god and see if we can... We probably don't have the right food, though, to get our new horse um, up to snuff. So, yeah. Let's go do 
the labyrinth. Oh wait, we need some food first. Hold on. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, we also need. Yeah, let's go back to lookout landing because I forgot about the um, the heart container. <clears throat> so we can go and cook some food and get our heart container, and then head off to the labyrinth. Uh, there's a. I don't know why I can never find this thing. Yep, and go get a heart container. Yeah, yeah, light's blessing. Give me a heart container. Okay. Although we don't really look like the best guy to be given stuff to with all these skulls clattering away on our weapons and armor and whatnot. All right, we're getting up there. Slowly but surely. Okay, now off to the labyrinth. We might even be able to call our horse from here. No. He is like right over here. He's right there. No. A little too far away. Alright. Let's go to the labyrinth. Okay. That is a blood moon, right? Looks like a blood moon to me. Oh. We can make a fire right here and rest till morning. Yeah, sit until morning. Yeah, I knew it was a blood moon. The glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the... Alright, but we don't care about the blood moon right now, because we are going to do... Yeah, the labyrinth. Alright, I think we can just follow these pine cones. Because the dude... Um, started, you know, heading that way. We bother with bloom resistance. Yeah, we got a fair bit of it. Fifteen. I don't think we need fifteen. Yeah, we'll do one of the tens. Yep. Ten should be fine. Yeah. Pine cone goes this way, then this way. I did look at a walkthrough, but uh, that was yesterday. I totally don't remember. But yeah, the dude set up all these camps through here. I totally don't remember what the walkthrough said, though. But it looked like he was just following the pine cones. Oh, there's a pine cone. Because yeah, that guy was saying he would leave pine cones on the path he took. There's a pine cone over there. Um, yeah, not this way, but hey. That is a mighty construct, though. Yeah, we can definitely drop that for a mighty construct, bow. So there is some good stuff. I just want to run. Yeah, how did this other guy get through here? I guess he must have had the stuff, too. Can we go see what's over here? Because we do have our ruby shield. It's going to be very useful in here. Because, yeah, the ruby shield just makes all this stuff melt. Um, yeah, there's a chest over here. I'll definitely take a chest or two. Zonite bow. Hmm. The zonite bows I've not used yet. We already have one. Um, but yeah, they are, right, power drains and arrows can fly much further according to how long a shot is charged. And we, of course, have used both of our dusk bows, so I don't know which one is lower. Hmm. Although it is better than the mighty construct bow, isn't it? Yeah. Drop that one. Okay. 
bit. Now, before our stuff wears out, go this way. Following the pine cones. I assume following the pine cones is the way to go. It's looking that way. Sort of. Although, from what I remember of the walkthrough, this is not the route that the guy in the walkthrough took, I don't think. Um, may as well pick some mushrooms. Aha! More stuff to read, eh? Research log day three. After shivering in the cold and cowering from the gloom, I finally made it. This pathway leads to the center of the ruins. There's a trail of lights here that's almost beckoning me in. It must lead to that due compensation the slab mentioned. My history-making discovery is mere steps away. You can do this, me. Alright. Did you get frozen? Yep. What's this due compensation? Mighty Zonite Shield. I don't know if I'd call that due compensation. It is better than these ones, though. Mm. No, it's way better than this one. Do that one. And that's the same type anyway. Okay, now where? This way? Yeah, I guess that's not the due compensation he was talking about. That sounds like bone dudes. Yeah, we still got some resistance left. Yeah, nothing good over there by the look of things. Yeah, good enough to get through. I don't care. We gotta get here while our stuff is still working. Aha! Oh, a ladder. I do remember a ladder from the walkthrough. This the ladder that was meant. That's the way we came. Oh, so we just probably want to go up. Yeah, there we go. What's this? Research log day four. I've done it at long last. I've done, I found a relic uh, of the Zonai civilization. My, though my euphoria is short lived, in the hours since my discovery, I've tried touching, hitting, and yelling at the relic, but it remains uh, unresponsive. I'm starting to fear that I may not unravel the secrets of the Zonai after all. The thought makes me makes the cold even more bitter. Well, fine. I suppose it's time I crawl out of this frigid pit and issue my report on my investigation. Okay, so he's gone. And nothing else? Yeah, it definitely sounds like there's bone guys around somewhere. Oi. Yeah, what do you say? Or do you just open the gate? For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, that I, the ruler of owls, have unlocked a door. Find it on the west side of the labyrinth of the sky. Alright. And then there's a shrine that you have to unfreeze. Boy, that one takes a really long time to unfreeze. Probably would have been easier with just a, like a fire fruit or something. Oh, it's a Baru's Blessing. That's always good. What'd you give us? What'd you give us? Like Christmas. Diamond. Okay. Could have been better. And one more Light of Blessing. way leave yeah it's just straight up so it's gonna be going to here yep and there is a way from the sky view tower the sky view tower is right there so if you go to the sky view tower 
it'll bring you out here and as you can see there's like this island you can land on and then there's like those floating platforms you can use to get over here yeah all those ones there's some more over in that direction rusty shield no we don't want a rusty shield we want to go to the old labyrinth what's the best way do you think probably a flying device would be my guess and have we used this one yeah yeah i don't think we need any of that stuff so probably using one of these guys is going to be the best way to do it. if they oh have we not gotten the shrine you gotta be kidding me we didn't ever get the shrine over here all right, hold on. Yep, we got the rock. Isn't there a song? We got the rock, we got the rock, something. I don't know. I think they're referring to a different type of rock. Oh, it's another Raru's Blessing. Well, that's good. Two in one episode. I think we had three in another part. Hope has. Boring. At least the diamond's worth more. I guess the elemental rocks are kind of hard to come by. Not that diamond is elemental. It does make your weapons pretty powerful. But it's not as good as, like, you know, boss guy horns. I think the Lionel horns are the best thing to fuse to your stuff. Alright, well, we're, we were going that way. The labyrinth. We were going to use this thing. Now we learned that it's actually fairly speedy. But yeah, I think we want some that's going to be angled the other way. So, yeah, we want to go up. So we want at least one at a 45. Oh no, <laughs> it's all at an angle. No, tooling. He's so excited to do his tooling stuff. Oh, there is a shrine here, is there? Alright, well, we'll stop over at the shrine. Oh, I forgot to put some batteries on it. Oh, well. Yeah, I still don't know about those tablet things. Because you can take a picture of them, and it makes, like, a little noise. But we probably have to talk to that one guy who does the translating to figure out, you know, what they say, obviously. Would you go up more, please? Dang clouds. Oh no. We're going too far away. Oh, is there any way to get up there from here? Well, I guess we are did seem like we entered a low gravity area. Yep, we are in a low gravity area, so that's got to be good, right? So then... We, yes. And ascend. And... I'm guessing... Nowhere to ascend there. So can we make that jump? Yep. It's been a while since I was in a low gravity area. Basically since the, the water temple. Alright. Can we ascend here? Yeah. Shrine? What about this? To you who set foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. 
Okay. Are so, you gonna open it for us? Although I have heard that there is a bit of a sneakier way to do this. But first, let's go get the temple or the shrine. We got a fast travel point here for one. Oh, gravity and velocity. Yeah, and I like to complete all the temples. So, oh, we're no longer in a low gravity area, are we? What is this thing? That's a new thing. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check. Yeah, we cannot do anything with it. So, the ball is just going back and forth. Alright. We smack it. Oh. Ah, that turns on the low gravity. I see. Where'd the ball go? The ball's gone, isn't it? Oh. No, the ball can't be gone. Yeah, we don't count. We're not heavy enough. But yeah, we can get the chest now. A large zone I charge. Oh, what happened to the ball? Looks like it respawns over here. Now yeah, it respawns. Okay, so yeah, once it's over here, then it should go. Yep. Easy. just flung the ball in there, so it should fling us in there, okay? I'm assuming. Oh, there's more. Yeah. So will I. Oh, almost seems like that's what you're supposed to do. Oh no. There. Nope. You gotta do it halfway, huh? Tricky, tricky. All right, well, still did it, though. So not that tricky. Still pretty tricky. But I didn't need a guide for it, or did not need a guide for it, so not as tricky as some of them. So the anti-gravity is artificial, at least it seems like it is. Okay, so yeah, there's like a pathway through here that follows all these things, but there's also, yeah, the north below my prop at the entrance of the giant ruin floating in the sky. Yeah, I want that one activated. So that'll show us where all the things are. And then we just climb. Ah, here's the spots. Yeah, when I was watching the guide, it was saying there's spots to rest. They're over on this side. Yeah, once you're on top, it's nice and easy. You can just run along and drop down in all the spots. So I don't know if there's any particular order to do them in. I'm just going to do them kind of clockwise. And yeah, we should be able to make these jumps pretty easy. Because it's low gravity. I guess it would have been easiest just to run around the edge. And then, yeah, it's like right here. 
We just drop down, I assume. But yeah, there's no bottom to this thing. So, you can fall out the bottom. Oh, dang it. I tried to I hit the wrong button. Go figure. But yeah, then... Yeah, how do you get back up? Or is there... Thingamabobber. Um... Yeah, there's nowhere to ascend. At least nowhere I see to ascend. So I guess... We'll cheat like usual. Or actually... Yep, that one. Oh, you're cold again. Oh yeah, because... You don't have your ruby shield on anymore. So, let's put some pants on. There we go. And we'll just use a rocket. Oh no! And that does not get us high enough. Dang it. Alright then. Oh no! Alright, well we just gotta find somewhere to land, I suppose. Because, yeah, they probably are sneaky and don't give you any way to actually um, ascend anywhere. But we can just take a couple of those and one of those. Whoops. And then do this. Yeah, I don't think it liked building that here. not have a Zonai device that flies you to the top of the temple. That, sir, is cheating. I don't got time to do your dang temple. Or labyrinth, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, and then there's a chest up here. Alright. Stay up. Oh, of course it won't. There's a Korok thing. I still don't know how you do those. I think they must be skydiving challenges, but I don't got time for that. Um, another Zonite bow? Yeah, we're pretty full up on those. And then right below us is where we want to go. Yep, and this time, let's try not to kill ourselves on the landing. Because while it is low gravity, we are not wearing our full suit. So we do get hurt when we fall. Yeah, it's too high to ascend, I would imagine. Yes, of course. Um, why won't it let me... Oh, there we go. Alright, one more, right? It's in the middle. One more bite. Up. At least I'm assuming that you can drop down the middle one as well. If not, I'm in trouble. Yeah, what is this? Um. Oh, we can jump from here. Oh, that's where you jump when you're all done, isn't it? Yeah, we want to go down one of these, I think. It's looking like, yeah, this one. All right. Haha, <laughs> we beat it. We didn't cheese it at all. 
Hey, they give you the ability to do it. It's not cheating. They give you a nice way to get up there. Now that you're all done. Whoa. It just keeps going. All right. You who have traversed this maze, mark well my words. I have pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed your path below ground. Yeah, I remember those bars where the shrine was. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open to you. Yeah, this is a lot of work to get this, but you do get some pretty cool armor from it, I do believe. So yeah, we're just going down now. So, off we go. I guess we just go straight. Hopefully. And try not to die. Um, that seems like we want to go over here. Yeah. So, going straight, we would have died. We're still cold. Definitely going to the depths. Oh, we're not cold anymore. So let's put on um, all of our flight gear. That way we won't die when we hit. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. All right. Well, now we want some glowy armor. Not that it's terribly glowy. Um, we want to throw some bright blooms, I believe. Um, we might have to actually do this one the proper way. Well then, this will be interesting. I guess we'll go this way first, since that's where we threw the bright bloom. We'll mark our path. Oh. I guess, yeah, we're just fighting. Okay then. Uh, do we have any bone stuff? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Um... We don't have any smasher bone stuff. So let's make you into a smasher bone thing. Oh, yeah, with uh, this one. No, not that one. This one. That's a bone thing, I believe. There. Right, because that... Does it not show the bone affinity? Because that does count as a bone. At least I assume it would. But maybe not. I don't know. Alright. Off we go. That count. Still got him. Where is it? Oh, it's moving. He's a moving one. Yep, yeah, I got it. Yeah. No, oh, he's doing this. We don't have any rockets on any of our shields. I always run into that one. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, take me back up to it. That should work. Yeah. That wasn't much of a labyrinth. At least it wasn't Tulin. Because when Tulin does that, all your stuff goes away. Alright, what do we want to put that on? We should have something. Bigger on sword? Um, yeah, why not? Good for bigger on sword, I suppose. Alright. And now. So I guess it doesn't really matter which way you go. The one in the depths here is not actually a labyrinth. You who have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. That wasn't much of a labyrinth. Unless we just picked right the first time. This trial was a test of your talents, and in overcoming it, you have shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In my name, as the ruler of owls, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Armor wreathed in otherworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Okay, where is it? Oh. Alright. Oh, this way. Which piece did we get? Evil spirit grieves. Some believe these grieves are in inspirited by a malevolent entity. They're a rather rare find. And then, yeah, we can also get out of here into the depths. So yeah, this is one of the, like we stopped here when we were looking for the mine. We thought it was the mine. Well, I thought it was the mine. I don't know if you guys, you probably actually read what the thing said and were aware that it was not the mine. Oh, and there's another chest over here. What is that? Another Zonite bow. Yeah, we're already full up. And some bad guys over there. I was hoping there'd be a light route. I do not see a light route. Oh, but there's usually a light route up on top of these things, isn't there? But I did see, yeah, this guy. Hold on, though. Yeah. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. Just to make sure there's no none of those, um, the little, like beetly sort of guys. Oh, what's that? Knight's claymore. Man, what a royal guard's claymore. Don't we already have a knight's claymore? Um, now we got boulder breaker. Our knight's claymore break. That's a soldier's broadsword. A knight's broadsword. Oh, so the soldier's broadsword. Oh, but that's pristine. This one's not pristine. Um. Hmm. Traveler's claymore. Yeah, the knight's claymore would probably be better than that. Even though, yeah, it's got a flux construct on it. What is the flux construct? It's 20. And yeah, we got stuff that's way better than 20. So yeah, let's drop that one. Grab the knight's play more. What is the oh there's choo choos? Yeah. Ooh, gloom choo choos. They look creepy as it all get out. Okay. So, yeah, I think. Well, we'll check up on top real quick. Yeah, we will use our Zonai device. Or can we? Let's just see if that gets us there. Yeah, it looks like it'll get us most of the way up there. And we can actually climb this. So. Yeah, there is a light route up here. I knew there would be. Well, I was pretty sure there would be. 
where even are we? I guess we're below the Rito Village sort of area. The, the northwestern Hyrule. Ebra Mountains. Yeah, so this is a brand new area. Yep, we don't... Oh, we lost all of our hearts, though. Okay, so that is... Yeah, kind of totally outside the area we've been in. But that is also going to do it for this part. We got a lot more done than we had in the past couple parts, at least feels like to me. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. And next time, I don't really know what we're going to be doing. That kind of looks like another mine over there. Something we should go investigate in any case. So we'll probably investigate a little bit down here in the depths next part. And then we should probably head over to, yeah, the Gerudo area over here. Get these other last two Skyview Towers. And get that part of the story moving in the right direction. So if you did enjoy this part, click that like button for me. I appreciate it ever so much. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you want to be notified of upcoming content, click that notification bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.